Hello again, YouTube. This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm back with some Five Nights at Freddy's 4 stuff because the game has actually now been released to people, and uh, that means that there is, of course, full versions, or perhaps I should say full imagery, full pictures of the animatronics now because uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, like Five Nights at Freddy's 3, has the extras or the, you know, the menu where you can basically see them all, and so now we can actually kind of see what the full picture of Bonnie, Chica, all of them look like. So here are, of course, my adjustments to Nightmare Bonnie. And uh, the main thing is, of course, making it a little bit more blue and making a lot more withered patterns and stuff. Because, of course, Bo <laughs> Nightmare Bonnie is in sorry shape, I would say. And it doesn't even, like, have a chest and stuff. And so one thing that I will say is, you know, while I would love to make it even more withered, something that I think most of you don't realize if you're coming to this, you know, from the outside. Anybody who's familiar with my series knows about this. But the game that we're playing is Scribblenauts Unlimited. And you can create, of course, various characters or whatever you want in the object editor but you're limited with how many little stamp pieces you can put. So like for instance right here, we're calling our uh, it said new FNAF body because at the time, you know, there was no confirmation. We of course now have the correct name which is Plush Trap and believe me, if people are like thinking that that's preposterous, it's been named Plush Trap all along. While I don't disagree with you, there are still people even today who are commenting on some of my past videos saying its name is Spring Trap or its name is Plush Spring Trap or Mini Spring Trap. So it's like there are still people out there who don't even know that it's named Plush Trap. So before you give me hell and write like a ton of comments of what its real name has always been and stuff like that, no one knew until right now, now that the game is out, and STILL people don't know. Anyway, as I was saying, we just put like a piece of a scorpion, you know, because Plush Trap is a little bit withered, you know, and this is another thing, is that people do not know. I think Five Nights at Freddy's fans love to like theorize before it's actually been confirmed, but somebody told me, you know, when my very, very first design of Plush Trap, which was from the website, teaser, we couldn't see much, you know, it was just really dark, and the lighting basically couldn't tell a lot of details, so I made my plush trap withered, like a lot. And then, of course, I changed it later on in the FNAF 4 episode before this one, but people were saying, you know, plush trap is not withered, and so I made it not withered, you know, once we got the trailer that came out on YouTube, and even then, you couldn't see some of the spots. There is actually just a few wither spots on plush trap, so that's all that we added to our design. But here, now that I'm editing Nightmare Freddy a little bit, and the design for it. You can see right here, I kind of uh, have slowed down the footage. Uh, it says stamp limit reached. Delete stamps to make more room, basically. So you know, we're taking like a T-Rex jaw right here. Every single little piece that you use to create the objects in this game, Scribble Knots Unlimited, is a stamp. So, you know, people have said, like, uh, this is not okay, but some people have been like, the animatronics have five fingers, you idiot, you know? And it's like, it's not okay to leave me or anybody a comment that says that that is in a bullying or rude way like that. Because as much as I don't want to be, I am a human. I'm a person. But anyway, the reason is because, you know, you first off, we're using the sticky hand, like, for instance, on Foxy's hand where he actually doesn't have the hook but the other hand. That is called a sticky hand. It has four fingers on it and we've got tons of other stamps. I mean we've got the hook which just takes two stamps because there's a puck and a hook. The arm that does it. His other arm is two stamps just for the red part. Another stamp for the withering. Another stamp for the wire. Another stamp for the hand and then four stamps for the little fingertip claws and stuff. There are not enough stamps to go around to add a whole nother finger being that you have limits in Scribble Knots Unlimited unfortunately. So a comment like that not only is rude, you know, that says you idiot, but like it completely neglects the fact that this game, again, does not let you have that many stamp pieces. So in retrospect, you have to take out something in order to have all the other features. So like, for instance, we wouldn't want to remove or take off his leg or like Foxy's hook or something that's really needed and is obviously there. You have to sacrifice something. You have to pick and choose. There are small ways to get around it. Like, for instance, on Foxy's head right here, you can see that the jaw, the top and the bottom piece are colored with color patterns. Those don't take up stamp space. But we're only limited by what color patterns the game has, so there may not be a color pattern that matches every single design out there in the world for every character. Anyway, you could use dough, or I'm sorry, Ujabam, the almighty, as we are adding one detail to our foxy head that I didn't have before that I think now we can do, especially, you know, given the stamp space limitations again, but uh, he doesn't really have a lot of fluff on the side, on his cheeks basically, but he does have kind of one little, I guess, protrusion or line 
line that comes out for the fluff. So it's almost like half of the fluff on his face is still there. And I'm so sad. We're going to take away the tongue. You know, his tongue was so epic on the original teaser image from the website. But he doesn't have the tongue in the final game. And the, you know, when he's hidden in the closet like that and stuff. So we have taken it out, unfortunately. But here's one thing, you know, and I'm so glad. I am so happy that I decided to wait on making Nightmare Fredbear. I know some comments on the previous episode were saying, you forgot Nightmare Fredbear. And that's another thing. Uh, I didn't forget. Saying you forgot means that you intended to do something, but you just didn't remember to do it. I never intended to make Nightmare Fredbear until this point now, now that the game is out. Tons of people gave me hell about it, saying that I forgot it. But the reason that I'm happy that I waited is because the original teaser image was simply a torso. It didn't have the head. It didn't have anything below the midsection. It didn't have arms. It didn't show anything but the torso. And then like the bottom jaw piece. And it was also even gray in the image. So it's like, imagine if I would have created that and made it gray. I know that there would have been comments for days talking about how it's gold once the game was finally released. But I don't know. Damned if I do. Damned if I don't. Because I still got hell. But here, now that I was patient, we have the full image of Nightmare Fredbear, who is actually golden. And this is so great because we had enough stamp space to actually make it so that his fingers were brown, except for the thumb. You can see actually that his thumb is still golden. So I like that. And then I also did uh, fangs as the little claws, I guess, instead of just the cone shapes, the little triangular cone shape that I've done for a lot of the other Nightmare animatronics. And we replaced the feet with treant feet and of course gave him the bow tie and the buttons. But now we're on the head, of course, for Nightmare Fredbear. And so we've done basically the Freddy head, you know, the Nightmare Freddy head, but we're gonna, of course, alter the color and alter some of the stamps and things because it's not just an exact carbon copy with a different color or anything. So, of course, giving it the T-Rex jaw. Uh, I like how it does have just a huge jaw, but the only problem is it looks so strange in Scribble Knots Unlimited when you make the T-Rex jaw too big, so I just kind of am trying to strike the balance here. But we're also using Hackberry for some of the wires and things that are sticking out. Hackberry and Root are basically the two different stamp pieces that I like to use for the wires. Root if you want a whole bunch of them. Hackberry if you want one specific wire. But then we've also got a uh, another animatronic that uh, was sort of hidden from most of the game, I would think, but uh, we now can create it, of course, with the knowledge that we have, and from the extras menu, we can see a full image of it. This would be Nightmare. Its name is just Nightmare. It's like a almost like a Black Nightmare Freddy or something like that, but it does have the jaw within its torso. So I've done a raptor, you know, just taking the bottom jaw of a raptor this time rather than a T-Rex. This will give you kind of the image where we used uh, Nightmare Fredbear with the T-Rex jaw, but here is the raptor jaw. So you can see kind of two different, I guess, ways to create that. And that's the other thing about this game is that in Scribble Knots Unlimited, there sometimes are multiple ways you can do one thing. So I like to, from time to time, show you several design options. But the crazy thing about Nightmare, the animatronic, is that you can see kind of the endoskeleton pieces within it, and uh, especially in its legs. And so I had to remove a bunch of stamps, again, with the stamp space limitations. I had to take away a lot of the stamps just to show that we can see some of the endoskeleton parts. So I did like a light bulb and screw. And I did keep on the kind of animatronic suit parts because you can see in the image, we'll look at a comparison image pretty soon here at the end of this video, but you can see in that image from the extras menu of Nightmare, the animatronic, that there are actually some signs of the suit still being there around the endoskeleton legs. But anyway, here are our comparison image. Like here's Freddy, for instance, Nightmare Freddy, with all the little Freddy heads. And there in the middle is my design before. So you can see a before and after how I have improved and changed the image now that we've kind of seen the final version <laughs> in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, the game. So here's our Nightmare Bonnie, perhaps one of the ones that I've changed the most. You know, made it a lot more blue, of course. Changed the withering on his chest to be a lot bigger and gave him the color pattern of that, like, almost zebra print. Nightmare Chica, I didn't change too much of it because my Nightmare Chica design was pretty close to the original based on the teaser image from the website. And it's got the little cupcake on its shoulder. I know that it's holding it in its hand in the image, but in the teaser, it was on the shoulder. And of course we added grass for the three feathers or whatever that are on the top of its head. And so Nightmare Foxy, of course, one of the main changes as you saw when we were editing it was changing the color where it actually had the pants. You know, we can actually see the pants now and what color they are and all that stuff. But I was really impressed with my Nightmare Foxy going from the teaser image from the website, which was like nothing. It gave me like no details except for the head. And I created that whole body and it looked so similar to the final design. But anyway, you can see our plush trap that actually went through um, two different changes and stuff from my creations and whatnot. So you can see those in the past episodes that I've done on this channel if you are curious. But then we've got Nightmare Fredbear, of course, and as 
as I mentioned, he's golden, he's got the big body and all that stuff and his fang fingers, you know, those big claws. And so, of course, Nightmare, the one called Nightmare, the animatronic right there. So if you look really closely at his legs and thighs and stuff, you can still kind of see the animatronic suit. It almost looks transparent around those endoskeleton legs. So that's why I left them on there, on our design. And of course, what many of you seem to be calling the Freddles, it's just the little Freddies, the mini Freddies, the Teddy Freddies, as I call them. We even had them from the previous episode. So I know there are other things that we could have created, like we could have created the little robot toy or the 8-bit figures and stuff like that. And if there is really a demand to see those kinds of things, then of course you can request them. That's how my series works. You guys just request what you want to see in the comments and whatever's most popular or most requested by the most amount of different people. That's what gets created each week. So we'll see. And now that FNAF4 will probably have some like DLC thing or some extra content, you know, come Halloween or come sometime maybe even before then, there could be other things that we'll create in the near or far future. But while there were some comments that griped, there were of course some comments that were lovely and beautiful. So I do thank those who supported me and who were with me, offering good feedback and all of that. Just know that I never forget you and I never take you for granted. I love you all and I will catch you on the next vid and thanks for viewing.